Welcome to our lecture online. Now that we understand the magnifying glass, we're ready to take a closer look at the microscope. Because essentially, the magnifying glass is half of the microscope. So here's a schematic of a microscope. We have the tube at the front end. We have what we call the objective lens, or simply called the objective. And at the back of the tube, we have the eyepiece, also called the ocular. And it's through the eyepiece or the ocular that we look. Notice that both the the uh, objective or the objective lens has a focal length and a focal point in front and the back of the lens and same over here the eyepiece or the ocular has a focal point on front and back of the lens and a focal length notice that the focal length of the magnifying glass and the focal length of the objective lens tend to be small and they do not overlap like they do in a telescope also notice that we saw in the previous videos that since the ocular acts as a magnifying glass we can look through it either with relaxed viewing or with strained viewing and that will alter the magnification of the ocular in relaxed viewing it'll be 25 centimeters divided by the focal length of the eyepiece and for strained viewing it'll be 25 centimeters divided by the focal length plus one it's always one more with strained viewing that brings the image in closer instead of allowing it to float off to infinity so to speak and then we can see that the total magnification of a microscope is going to be the product of the magnification caused by the objective and the magnification caused by the eyepiece. Now we don't know yet at this point what the magnification is of the objective. We'll see that in the next videos to come. But the way a microscope works is that we will place an object close to the focal point of the objective, typically a little bit before the focal point or very close to it. So here, let's put an object right there, which causes an image to form just inside the focal point of the eyepiece. So there's the first image caused by the placing the object right in front. Now, I made the object a little bit too big. Let me make an object a lot smaller. There's the object because we're looking at a very small object and that will create a very large image just inside the focal point of the ocular of the eyepiece. Now, of course, we will be adjusting the microscope because it will not come into focus until the image is placed right there. And depending upon where the object is placed, we will have to move the eyepiece back and forth by focusing so that we get the image to be just in sight for a clear image. And then the magnifying glass does its job by magnifying the, uh, the image of the first lens now becomes the uh, object of the second lens essentially. And so now what we do is we're going to have an image formed like so. So this is image two, and notice that image two will be magnified again relative to image one. Now notice that the final image, which is image two, is going to be upside down relative to the original object because it's the first lens objective that causes the image to flip over. We have a real image right here, but it's inverted, and then magnifying glass makes it larger again, magnifies it again, depending upon which way we view, either through relaxed viewing or strained viewing, and so there's your final image. And the magnification of the final, final image is simply equal to the magnification caused by the first lens times the magnification caused by the second lens. And so that's how a microscope works, and we're now we're going to show you how to calculate the magnification of the objective so we can then ultimately get the magnification of the total microscope. That is how it's done. Yeah, we can draw the lines. Uh, the way that works typically is you have a line going from there to the lens and then through the focal point on the other side. And then we can draw one right here from there to the middle of the lens, keeps going. And then when they eventually intersect, that's where they form. But we've, we have videos on that in previous chapters that shows exactly how to do that. Here it's kind of blurry because it's, it's too small. <laughs>